Hi everyone. I want to quickly show you how I use Zero Mesher in 2019 to get the loops I got in the models I've been sharing online. Um, so basically, the, the premise of this is um, a video I watched two years ago by Steve James. I'll link his video below the description in this one. Um, he used masking and grouping, control W, to control how he wanted his groups to go. And then he used keep groups in Zero Mesher 2018 to control the flow of the polygons. I think you can get a better result in 2019. And I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to do a quick example here on this sphere because it's easy. And then I'm going to load the model that I use to show online and show you the steps using undo history because some of the steps are a bit a bit long for a video. I don't want to take too much time. So let's go. So basically you want to have your standard brush loaded up with Sculptish Pro on and you can use lazy mouse to help out with this with the smooth. So I'm just going to draw a quick diamond on this. And I'm going to um, go to polygroup it, which is under Z plugin. Polygroup it from paint. You have your polygroups. And then you go back to geometry, zero measure. I've, you, I'm going to use 2018's version to show you the results you get from 2018. And I'm going to go after that into the model and show you 2019 version. So all I have is key groups on, adapt is on, target polygon to five, and zero mesh that. Let's give it a few seconds. I might stop the video here and come back when it's done. Okay, zero mesh is done. We have our diamond shape polygons. And we have a very unclean result. So what we can do is go to stroke and we can say frame mesh with polygroups. And if you go back to zero measure 2018, we can kind of say use keep groups with curve strength, and we get this result, which is cleaner than what we had before. Um, so this is the idea I want to take forward to 2019. I'm going to show you what I did by going through the undo history, and hopefully it'll make some sense. So this is the model I used and the one I was showing off all the polygroups online with. So as before, it was quite simple, straightforward. Draw the lines, make sure you have three polygroups joining together where you wanted sharp corners. So when you run a polish by features or polish by groups, you get sharp lines, you keep those sharp lines. Um, after that, after I made sure that all this was done by using lazy mouse, it doesn't take long at all. Um, I then run a polygroup, uh, polygroups on it. I'm going to go back to the wireframe and show you what happens after running polygroups. You get polygroups on the border of the of the line you've, you've drawn on the model. And after that, because the model is still quite heavy, I ran a tessimation pass on it, which is basically a tessellate decimate combination. This is the lowest number it will go to, but it works fine because it keeps the forms. And even if it doesn't, you can always go to project all under subtool and project the form of the original onto the copy. But it works fine. All the forms are there, as you can see. Um, the only problem now is that all the lines we had before have now become quite jagged because tessimation reduced the number of polygons. So what I did was I ran a polish by groups pass on this and a polish by features pass on it a couple of times to clean up, you know, in, on the deformation to clean up the lines and make them straighter. So just run this a couple of times, you get some clean lines. The only problem with this is if you go close to the model, you can see these mini creases in here. And because we're going to use the crease function, what we did, what I had to do was I Oh, after I did the, the polish by features, I did a mirror and weld because um, the, the model tends to warp across the line and doesn't really look, it doesn't, it doesn't be, it's not symmetrical anymore. So to fix that, I went into um, geometry, modified topology, mirror and weld, or I have a custom menu, which is really, really handy to speed up your workflow. And I always have, I always have a hand under a key. So I mirrored, I did a mirror weld and I got rid of the creases, the mini creases um, in the model. 
So after I did that, I then went into the model using control shift. And because if you go back, you'll see that there's some other floating polygroups around here. So the quickest way to get rid of these is to control shift click. But if you want to join two together, if you control shift click on the line joining them, it will only it will only show two polygroups together as opposed to showing only one if you click on the polygroup. So I went in, control W a few times, and then I cleaned up the front, the back of the model, made sure all the polygroups were, were solid. Um, so that's what I was doing here basically, I was just cleaning up the model. And when I'd, when I'd done all this, when I'd made sure everything was cool, I then went into my crease menu under the, in, under geometry and I did an uncrease all, then I did a crease poly, um, polygroup so that I had creases at the borders of all my polygroups because that's what 2019 uses to make sure that the, the loops stay where they're supposed to. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm just basically cleaning up the model running, um, deleting the eyes, the eye holes, making sure that the lines are clean, um, just going through and then after I got my creases done, after I did my uncrease all, uncrease polygroup, I then did this. And this is the first result I got from zero measure, which is not bad considering the old way. So there are still some errors that are here, um, like you have some here. This is easy to get rid of. All you need to do is hold down shift and smooth and then let shift go and it will relax the model. So that's what I did here. Um, I basically smoothed all this area out. And then whenever I do the first zero measure, I always increase everything and then I recrease the model again to redefine the lines. So I hid everything and then, so I, I increased everything and then recreased the model. So here I'm recreasing the model and then I did another zero measure. So the second time I ran zero measure, the first time I ran zero measure, it was basically keep creases, keep groups, smooth groups was all the way up to the top because I wanted the poly groups to be smooth because of the polygon count was so high. But the second time I ran it with a lower polygon count, I always lower this down to zero or close to zero. Otherwise the model tends to melt and you don't want that to happen. If it does happen, the easy fix is just to reproject your model. But you, if you want to keep the, the sharp edges, it's best to just turn this down to zero. So you keep those sharp edges here. Um, so after I cleaned up the model and kind of relaxed it a bit, made sure I increased all and then recreased it with the polygroups and increased polygroups. I ran zero measure again and I got this result which is much better. There are still some areas on the model which could do with some fixing so the, the easy way to do this is to mask out that area and then invert the mask then go to deformation here and run the polish by features or polish by groups with a circle closed otherwise it will, it will melt and then it will kind of relax the model and make it better and I did that to everywhere I did that to everywhere I needed things to be to be fixed and to be better I relaxed the back of the head I relaxed the nose area so you see me doing that now if I go just play through so I kind of like relaxed the side of the cheek here with some creasing the back of the head I did this area here um, I think I did the nose as well I did the nose I used the polish by features on the nose as well relax that and then, yeah, so this is where we are now. This is where the last um, zero measure is. So you could either increase everything at this point. So if you go back to zero measure and you want to keep your creases and stuff, you, all you need to do is go to zero measure. You can, uh, you can um, leave that on and do a half. But like I said, I turn this all the way down and I do another zero measure. And I end up with this. And once you're happy with the model, you can just basically go to um, crease, increase all, and then you can just say um, go to subtool, um, have your original model select visible, and then just basically go to project all. And you're good to go. And then you can start sculpting as if. But this time you have more control because you can now select bits and pieces if you want. You know, you have loops, which is nice. Um, yeah, everything's, everything seems copacetic now. And that's basically how I did it. It wasn't really difficult. It just took a bit of planning and knowing exactly what I wanted to do from the beginning. 
by drawing my loops and then the end result I think justifies this bit of painting which takes about five minutes in the beginning but if you just remember the steps which is basically you know draw your lines polygroup tessimate and then you have to run a polygroup by features on it or put um, run a um, before and polish by features on it and make sure you mirror and weld and make sure you uncrease everything first before you crease by polygroups run your zero measure and then once you're done with that you can then you know clean up the areas you want to clean up either by smoothing or by using masking and polish by groups um yeah it's much faster it's much it's very efficient and it works so i hope this was helpful um you can catch me on instagram you can catch me on facebook uh, you can catch me on our station and i'll see you next time